Hello everybody, my name is Canadian Waffle and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get T-Mod Loader for your very own modded playthroughs of Terraria in 1.4 Journey's End. Now before we start today's video, uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Panda Ninjas and Mr. Cuber. Thank you very much for being hashtag endgang. Good job. Now hopping over here, what we want to do is go to Steam, as you can see. Um, then we want to simply search up T-Mod Loader, except I can't spell. Check it out. I have not yet downloaded T-Mod Loader. I've saved it just for this. And what you want to do here is go down here, just install now it is free dlc for terraria so just go ahead and get that done and i'll be back with you in a second all right and now it's finished downloading so if we just exit out of steam for a second you can see that i've got it in my browser you can also head over to your library and it is a separate installation from terraria itself so we'll just be able to find it somewhere around here down by Terraria. And here it is. If you just click play, it'll start the game up. And very soon, you'll be able to have mods. This has gotten a whole lot easier than it used to be. Before 1.4, you had to do a whole separate download and change around your game files. But now that it's got official mod support, good to go. And it'll just do its thing, go through all your mods and load them up. Uh, if you are downloading and using Tmod Loader for the first time, you likely won't have any mods to use, but I will show you in a second once it's ready how to get some for yourself. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to head to the mod browser, and here it will go and show you all of the mods that people have made for 1.4 so far. And if you just update them so that everything's good to go for 1.4, I need to do a sweep. And there it is. And now if you wanted to just go through these and say, hmm, what do I wanna, what mod do I want? Maybe I want to, uh, let's see. Let's say I want, uh, what if I wanted this ultimate vanity mod, I could just click download, and then it'll do its thing if you go back to the main menu. Once you're done downloading all your mods. And then you go into the mods section, and this will show you everything that you have downloaded. And so what we want is to disable all, and then, because I was playing with some mods earlier, uh, before 1.4 released, and it still has all those, but if we just look around, eventually we will find that vanity mod that we downloaded. Alright, well it, w it wasn't showing up, but uh, I can promise you that it, it does work, uh, so let's just pretend that this one is indeed what we were doing earlier. Once you have all the mods you want enabled, uh, that you want to be enabled, enabled, you have to go down here and click reload mods, and that will make sure that the game knows which mods you currently have enabled and disabled. So right now we've only got the yet another boss health bars mod. And then, all you need to do, go into a world, make a new world, and you should load up with all your mods. Now be careful that you have the right mods enabled on the right world, because you could have some crazy world corruptions and stuff if you're missing mods, or have some new ones. More so, the missing part. But anyways, guys, that'll be all for today's tutorial. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope it helped uh, inform you 
on how to get the most out of your 1.4 journeys and experience. Look out for my next tutorial, probably on the graveyard mini biome. Look at that. Um, coming out soon, so if you want to make sure that you catch a whole bunch of tutorials and guides for Terraria 1.4 content, you don't, you you know what to do. Click click all the YouTube stuff down there. The subscribe, like, bell, you know, whatever. There's lots of stuff. Um, <laughs> many buttons to click. And otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay safe and stay healthy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.